Houses with humidity levels above 60% can become breeding grounds for dust mites, mildew, and mold. A dehumidifier can help to significantly improve your air quality. Consumer Reports routinely test dehumidifiers for moisture removal, energy efficiency, noise, and how they perform in cooler temperatures. Here's what you need to know to find the best dehumidifier for your house. As its name implies, a dehumidifier's job is to remove moisture from a space. How does it work? A fan pulls moist air over two sets of coils, one cool, one warm. That cool coil causes the moisture in the humid air to condense into water, which drips into a bin. Then the air passes over the warm coil and flows back into the room. When a float indicates that the bin is full, the fan and compressor turn off. Once the bin is emptied, the process begins again. If your dehumidifier is equipped with a draining hose or a pump that moves the water out, to your sink or floor drain for instance, that bin never fills up. One tip, while you shouldn't drink the water that comes out of a dehumidifier, you can use it to water plants, with the exception of vegetables you're going to eat. That water may have contaminants. Here's what to take into account when you pick a dehumidifier. Dehumidifiers are generally classified by the amount of water they can remove in 24 hours. Small units can take out about 25 to 40 pints of moisture per day. That's about the same as 3 to 5 gallons of milk. Consider this size if you're putting it in a smaller area with low humidity. Medium and large models that draw from 45 to 75 pints of water a day are well suited to basements and high humidity conditions. Definitely opt for a larger one if you've got a wet carpet, wallpaper, or musty smells in the room. They all take up about the same footprint, around a square foot. Make sure to leave some space around it to allow for airflow, usually about 12 to 14 inches from the wall. There are also whole house dehumidifiers that claim to handle an area of up to 3,000 square feet. Some are portable, while others can be hooked into your central heating or air conditioning system. If you place a dehumidifier in your basement, noise might not be an issue. But in consumer reports tests, the units ranged from 58 decibels, about the level of a typical box fan set to low, to 68 decibels, the equivalent of a box fan set to high. Definitely a consideration if you plan to run it in living spaces. In humid environments, the bin can fill up in 8 to 12 hours and may need to be emptied by hand several times a day. To save you the trouble, you can attach a hose to most dehumidifiers and divert the condensed water directly to a nearby drain. If you don't have a floor drain, consider a model with a pump. This one, for instance, can pump water upward up to 14 feet using a small tube that can run out the window or to a utility sink. To find out how specific brands and models stack up in our ratings, check out our full report at consumerreports.org. Meantime, here's a look at the science behind our testing. Dehumidifiers are placed in a sealed, temperature and humidity controlled chamber that is brought to 80 degrees with 60% relative humidity. First, we assess capacity. Technicians run the dehumidifiers continuously on the highest fan setting and gauge how much moisture is removed from the air in seven hours. Because of new federal energy and efficiency standards, most of the dehumidifiers in our latest tests rated very good or excellent for water removal. That means newer models cost you less to operate than older ones. The unit's energy consumption is measured and factored into the overall score. Look for an Energy Star rating when you buy. These models will generally use 15% less energy to remove the same amount of moisture. Then we test for humidistat accuracy to see if the machine turns off when it reaches your desired setting. We also make sure it turns back on when the humidity rises. Some models in our test are only fairly accurate. We also test for noise using precision sound measuring instruments in a quiet chamber. Some models have fans that run continuously to stir the air even after the compressor shuts off, affecting energy performance. The fan typically uses about the same energy as leaving a 60 watt incandescent bulb turned on. You won't find this information on the box, so it's something we test for and include in our ratings. Most dehumidifiers have a frost sensor to account for what might happen in a cool basement. We check performance by lowering the chamber temperature to 50 degrees. Ideally, if frost forms on the coils, the machine should automatically defrost, then continue to work. Some features our experts liked on the models we tested include a digital display, which lets you program specific humidity levels. Auto restart, 
In case of a blackout, it turns the dehumidifier back on with the same settings. Useful if you're not home. Multiple fan speeds let you adjust the operating speed of the unit based on the relative humidity of your space. An external viewing slot lets you see the bin's water level. Washable filters will help keep the coils clean. Look for a tank that's easy to slide in and out. A handle makes it simpler to lift one full. A timer allows you to run the unit while you're not home. You can also set it to run during off-peak hours to save electricity. And finally, wheels or casters can help you maneuver a heavier model. Even with a high-performing dehumidifier, it's best to try and reduce moisture at the source. Here are a few simple tactics. Inside, when cooking, cover steaming pots and turn on your exhaust fan. Make sure your clothes dryer duct is properly vented to the outside with no clogs or leaks. When you shower, open the window or run the exhaust fan and wipe excess water from the shower door. If your basement wall gets damp, you can apply a waterproof coating when they're dry and check the plumbing for leaks and condensation. And outside, is rainwater collecting too close to your foundation? Clean debris from your gutters and make sure that downspouts lead at least three feet away from your house. For information and a full list of our dehumidifier ratings, check out consumerreports.org. We're a not-for-profit and pay for all the items we test. Thanks for your support.